What's up, y'all? This is Shantae. We are wrapping up the final session for me, my character, as the bouncer. So next, I go home, get something to eat, remix it, and then I got another day tomorrow. Early, got to start all over again, but this is actually wrapped around school. You want to come through? Come on through. So um, that's pretty much it. We're going to be posting some of the extra footage. Actually, we're going to be doing some interview segments later on with some of the actors, directors, everyone that's had an opportunity to be part of this project. So we look forward to that, too. So we'll get it, y'all. Y'all take it easy. Peace. I'm getting yeah, makeup getting, done. Getting makeup done. That's like tough. A... Okay, fellas. Um, what's going on? And what we wanted to do was actually talk to you guys. I know y'all are on timeout and y'all are actually waiting for the next call session for when y'all actually go back out and do the next lines. Do y'all know what part you got to do next? We do. We're finishing up scene 12. That's the, yeah, the club scene. The club scene. We just finished our... He almost is penetrated through yeah. the glory hole, and then we <laughs> run out from the stall and make our way into the club, yeah. which we finally realize, actually we don't realize that until we get outside the club, yeah, we don't realize meet your character, yet. but uh, we get into a fight in the club, and then he has an outburst, and the whole club stares at us, and we almost get beaten down, and then your Shantae character. Shantae coming to our rescue. Absolutely. Stopping the seven foot Seymour. Seven foot Seymour. Yeah, he is tall. They made him Quick ridiculously tall. tall. Oh my god. Okay, so after this, um, have y'all really enjoyed this project? I mean, has this been like probably your funnest project, or you know, is this Absolutely. one of your better I've, projects? I've had a chance to work with um, uh, quite a few people on the uh, on this production and their DC films. So I've been able to be with them for not entirely their whole time through their college. But um, experience it, but um, it's been really cohesive, and everybody's getting along so well. And uh, I was actually pretty worried when I uh, met him the first time if we were gonna be able to work well together yeah, and uh, make so make it funny. <laughs> but it, it's it's come it's come together well, and uh, keeping it together between scenes has gotten kind of hard. But it's it's been fun. And uh, what do you think? No, uh, yeah. I mean, I know I know some of the people from uh, a 16 millimeter project that I worked with, and so you know, like. Like you said, it's been it's been definitely one of my favorite projects I've ever worked on. When I read the script, I was like, "This is hysterical! I'm so glad I'm in it." And like, this is taking place for me during finals week, so I was like, "Oh, I don't know if I can take on the project," but I wanted to stay on, so I did. Absolutely, I've <clears throat> never had a chance to. Uh, every, I mean, every, I mean, not everyone, but most people who know the, what the uh, projected image of Jersey Shore is, and I'm I'm glad we've got to dabble into that without overdoing it a little bit, and because. Uh, yes. I've kind of wanted to go incognito as Jersey Shore people, as a, That's you know, horrible. sometimes it's just a little inner. Was inner. that in the back of your mind? Uh, at times, at times, yes. We initially we kind of wanted to fist pump throughout, yeah. But um, that like kind of was X for an entire scene, through. just but um, pumping. but uh, it's it. I don't know. I feel like we made it our own easily and tied into the character, and it just. Yeah. It makes it so funny, and it's just to add a little added, little added spice kick to uh, what's going on with our entire production. Definitely, yeah. It's really fun. In the kitchen? Yeah. I was cooking in the kitchen. I was just doing my thing, making some pizza, you know, Italian, Italian. style. And uh, when I was making the dough, gotta make that dough, the uh, flour poof, just exploded on, on your my face. face. Okay. I, I thought that's... Okay, we're cool. That's, that's how we'll, we'll roll that. <laughs> Um, last and not least, fellas, uh, do you have any future projects coming up? Anything around the corner? Um, right now, not anything uh, film related. I'm doing a couple of stage shows uh, That's over cool. at my school. Um, it's about, like I'm going to be directing uh, a show and at the same time rehearsing to to be in another one. It's going to be on our main stage. That's all. Right. What about you? Well, <clears throat> about a month ago, I wrapped on a project called 365 Decision Time, Golden Brother Studios out of Kissing Me. That will be premiering in January in Puerto Rico, and then soon we'll come to the States. What? And then, uh, yeah, there's a little something. And uh, then uh, there's another project called by Tempest Entertainment called Holiday Season, which will be released online, hopefully, by the end of this month or next month. And then um, I just got a call back today for a, a commercial, which is pretty decent, and a few other things come around the corner. I'm sure good things will come to all of us. Okay, you know you look like the grown version of that kid that says, "I want to see you in a queue." You know you look like that. Oh, me? Macaulay yeah. Culkin? Yeah. Macaulay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that man. He's got Macaulay money. Yeah, he does. 
All right, fellas. Well, look, um, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I appreciate this, and we will be in touch. Um, have I sent you guys my information yet? I don't know, but I'm going to need an autograph along with that. Yeah, that's so. sure. I haven't checked my Facebook yet. All right, well, cool. I can get you that autograph. All right, man. All right, y'all. Y'all take it easy. Peace. All right, man. See you. Deuces.